University of North Florida is now beefing up security on campus after an incident that has a lot of students there on edge. A student who was a former KKK Grand Dragon posted a photo online holding an assault rifle with a threatening mes message. First Coast News' Hani Rodriguez spoke to that student in the photo tonight, and she joins us live now with new information. Right? That's exactly right, Heather. It was a fire right here on UNF campus that started that heated conversation on social media. So tonight we spoke with Ken Parker, who says he was simply defending himself and not trying to threaten any students. If I was trying to be threatening, I would have taken a firearm on campus. UNF student Ken Parker is talking about the assault rifle in this picture he posted on Facebook. The 11 year Navy veteran and former KKK Grand Dragon says he was replying to a post about flyers posted around campus that say it's OK to be white. I posted a picture of a f me with a firearm from right here off campus. And I don't, I don't understand why any student would take that as a threat. On Tuesday, Parker was suspended. According to this letter from the Vice President for Student and International Affairs, it says in part, quote, you represent an immediate threat to the safety, health, and well-being of the University of North Florida community. He needs to be completely removed from the university campus and expelled. Um, as long as the university condones this behavior, it's not safe for any marginalized students to be on here. Parker says he plans on appealing his suspension. I didn't have any uh, intent of sending anybody a message of fear. According to a letter from the school president, I want to show pull up that quote here on your screen. He says that Parker can only come on campus when escorted by a police officer. He also says in an abundance of caution, the university police department will have officers in uniform visible on campus along with undercover officers in plain clothes. He says there is no need for classes to be canceled and I feel confident there is no threat to the campus. Again, that hearing will be on Monday. We'll have an update for for you from then. For now, reporting live at UNF, I'm Honey Rodriguez, First Coast News on your side.